we're talking about fixed and growth mindset. A fixed mindset is believing that we can't change who we are and that our skills and knowledge is set in stone um, and that we feel that it's predetermined. We tend to blame others and get discouraged. Growth mindset is challenges help me grow. I'll try, I can learn, I can do better and asking for things we need to have the skills and knowledge that we need and desire. So we did an example on men mental health in the last video and we also did an example um, that happens a lot and is common that I hear a lot about starting a new job, becoming overwhelming, overwhelmed at the job and then quitting the job. So in this one, we wanna talk about how to cultivate a growth mindset and we all came up with some ideas in group. You could have plenty more and you might have worksheets to go with this or you might just do an educational group about this. But some things we came up with are, this is about how to cultivate a growth mindset in your kids. So reacting well to kids' failures. What does that mean? So, you know, the kid gets an offender bender, they come home, reacting well to it would be saying, you know, things, things happen, let's talk about it, what led this to happen and the child feels like a child, 16 year old, they're able to say, I guess I didn't stop in enough time. I slipped on some ice before the stop sign. So then we have the opportunity to learn from it and say, okay, you know, insurance goes up. We're going to have to come up with a plan about that. Now that you've had the fender bender, you need to make some calls to get the car fixed. You know, here's where I'd like you to call. You need to call the insurance company, give them a little opportunity to take care of that and teach them and guide them and let them know we need to be careful and let's watch out for the ice and the stopping time in the winter. Do you need some more practice kind of stuff? Um, instead, if we scream and yell and go in our room and storm off, the kids are gonna learn what? They're gonna learn that mistakes are not acceptable. So if I make one, I don't know how to handle it. I don't know how to get better. People, um, if I tell someone, they're just gonna get mad at me and overly emotional. Um, so don't use labels. Labels are damaging. Saying things to kids like, you're stupid, that was stupid, that was dumb, can't you do anything right? You're an idiot. It's hard for me to even say those words as an example. It's very harsh. Um, I have lots of people that come to therapy and they were given these labels when they were children and now they're 40, 50, 60 years old and they still hear those things in their mind that their parents and other adults said to them. It's very hard to reverse. Aim for very good, not perfect. So try not to teach them that perfection is a standard, right? Because when we're perfectionists, we learn at the end of the day that it was never good enough and we never measure up. And we have a difficult time accepting things that aren't exactly perfect, which is not the way that life works. Ask for help, ask questions. So allow questions to be asked. I have seen certain circles where questions come across as you know, defiance, when in reality, some of us are just trying to clarify so we completely understand the instructions. If I don't feel that I can ask a question about your instructions, when I go to do it myself, I'm not gonna know what to do and you're not gonna get the results you're expecting anyway. So allow an environment where questions are acceptable um, without taking it in a defensive way. Um, teach and give, teach how to give and receive feedback. So feedback is great. That's how we all learn and grow. It doesn't have to be something we avoid, dodge, or take personal. Um, practice giving them the language where they can give feedback and also accept it from someone else and apply it. Teach them not to take things personally, not to be reactive, and not to personalize. Window of tolerance and quick recovery skills. Teach them to increase the window of tolerance for things they can tolerate. Flat tire instead of panicking, throwing a fit, going home, um, taking a cab and saying the whole day is ruined. Maybe stretch that window and say, hey, when we get a flat tire, we pull over to a safe place, we get the jack out, we get the spare tire, and we put it on and we continue on with our day and go to work. Sometimes we don't even tell anyone we had a flat tire. Um, quick recovery, right? So instead of showing up at work and being upset about the flat tire all day and talking about it, I may tell no one because I've recovered emotionally and I'm, I'm there to work. So decrease distortions. What if catastrophizing those sand traps of the mind that we talk about in cognitive behavior therapy, not judging self and others, 
not having critical thoughts, and comparing leads to despairing. And then we want to model through our actions and practice what we preach. We want to model all these things for our children. And we want to teach them to practice skills that sometimes they're going to fail and sometimes we learn more from failures and that they are going to make mistakes and mistakes are okay. That they don't have to walk around on eggshells feeling like they have to be perfect. And if they aren't perfect, don't tell anyone, right? So just deal with that on your own so you secretly feel like you're never measuring up. So yes, I get that certain situations with certain children and certain people require different approaches, right? But this is just a way to cultivate a growth mindset.